Michael Flatley's start to the workday is about to change dramatically, leaving the familiar hallways of Pratt & Whitney for the dry deserts and mountains of Afghanistan. To leave one's family for an extended period of time and to go to a location like where I'm going to in Afghanistan is absolutely an unnatural act. If we're going to teach our children to follow their callings, and my children in particular, to follow their callings, then we have to be able to lead by example as well. It was a hunger he felt in grade school, one that took him to the Naval Academy, later serving on the USS Wasp. I've always believed that in life we don't choose our callings, we get to choose whether or not we answer those callings. Michael is answering the call again, leaving his job, his family, to spend almost a year overseas, setting aside his work as a program manager for the F-35 in Israel. He will come back to a new role with new responsibilities. It's not easy, but he says the company has proven it is patient and supportive as he readapts to civilian life. I couldn't really say enough uh, about the policies that Pratt & Whitney offers in support of deploying reservists, uh, National Guardsmen. Uh, for sure, there are, there are laws on the books that all companies have to follow, but Pratt & Whitney goes way above and beyond those. And the lessons he has learned in his tenure here will be applied thousands of miles away, even though his job and his safety changed dramatically. So I think it's that dedication to excellence um, that we have here at Pratt & Whitney that will serve me well in Afghanistan. Thank you.